marvellous. We have uh, the onion patch uh, and an interesting contrast here. The bed behind me, most of the plants are looking pretty bluey green and quite healthy. And then we look at this patch and there's a lot of yellowing leaves. Well, you expect yellowing leaves, particularly later on when the crop is maturing and starting to dry off. And, but not this soon. And it's a little bit of a worry. Basically, if, a, if an onion is showing you yellow leaves this early on, there's got to be something wrong and you've got to investigate it. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, um, but there is a, a range of possibilities. In this particular case, I think it's something called white rot and they will probably, yeah, just like that, just lift out. And if you can see at the base, there's this kind of fluffy white cotton wool. Uh, well, the fact that it lifted out just like that um, shows you that that's pretty terminal. I'll still happily use that, um, cutting off the affected parts, but I'll definitely not compost that, those parts. Those have got to go somewhere else. So all of these, I'm afraid, it's not looking good. So, yep, there they all are. This one, and they all just lift out. That one's not so bad, but it's still affected. You can see the how the leaves are going. There's a lovely cotton wool effect. So this is white rot, and it's in the soil, and it lasts for years and years and years. And um, obviously it appears that this bed um, even though there's a rotation, it's uh, still hanging on there. So I'll have to make a note of where this is and when the rotation comes back around to this with the onions, um, we will perhaps grow something different here. Just as a positive end to this sad little story, on our other side we have a bed which um, has got lettuce in, but lots of lovely companding plants. The um, lettuce are doing nicely. We've got convolvulus, uh, which is related to bindweed, but this is a rather lovely one. Lots of different colours on those. And we have some of the uh, yellow and white flowered poached egg plants there as well, and the insects love them. Well, normally your companion plants will be in amongst your vegetables and obviously uh, we've only got a few lettuce on here. The only problem is with onions, they don't like competition. So you either have to leave a big gap for your companion plant or have them on a neighboring bed. And the effect is then not as great, but it's still, still valuable and it's still rather lovely as well. Terrific companion plants and white rot, a lovely combination.